up? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, before we jump right in, I just want to thank Best Buy for gifting me this new EOS R10 camera. I really wanted to do a little blurb for you guys talking about this camera because I constantly get asked about the best camera for content creators, especially my beginners. You guys are just starting out and you need some advice on what cameras to pick up. I will put in my description box below under the camera equipment tab, the ones that you guys see me use the most. But I also just think this new camera here is literally both of the cameras that I use currently in one. And I just feel like you're gonna get just more value for your dollar by purchasing this kit. Before I jump right in, let me just say a quick disclaimer here. I'm not a tech technical person. I'm not gonna, I'm not here to give you guys specs and all that like megapixels, all sort of talk. That's not me, okay? I'm just gonna talk to you in Octavia lingo when it comes on to content. This camera offers you really high quality photos and video, which is the number one thing that I really wanted to point out for you guys. You know, take your videos, your reels, but also if you wanna snap a really quick picture for the gram, you have that ability also. I also love that this camera zooms in and out. My DSLR that I'm actually vlogging on right now does not have a zoom feature with the lens that I'm using. So I love that this one does and it makes it so much easier. You literally can zoom all the way. Do you see that? Zoom all the way in. Also just take really high quality photos. Which I love. Also with the kit, you're going to get the DME100 and that's a microphone. This is designed to improve your audio on your camera. And it is shoe mounted, so this just goes right in here. I feel like a pro already. So, okay, so this is the audio with the microphone attached. What do we think? What do we think? And the funny thing, you guys, the camera is also very lightweight, so I could actually vlog with this with ease. And I also feel like, you know, this camera just gives big energy. And people will just take you a lot more seriously when they see this big boy coming, coming through. So also with the kit, you're going to get the HG100 TBR tripod. This tripod is actually top tier, and I don't believe you're able to purchase it on its own. It only comes in a kit, and it's so worth it. So not only are you able to just hold it up and vlog, you're also able to open the leg and do like a tabletop vlogging situation if you need to so similar to this so you know when you're cooking or I'm like showing you guys my outfit you literally can just put it on the tabletop like that and I love so let's do a really quick video here I'm actually obsessed with this camera like I can so hey guys so today I'm gonna show you guys my outfit now and you literally can just put it on the table. I can just show you guys my outfit. La -da 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 -da. Anyways, if you do want to shop this camera, I will have the link for it in my description box below. I definitely do think this camera is the perfect camera to start off your content creation journey with, only because you're gonna get best of both worlds. Really high quality photos, really high quality video. Then also the microphone is gonna give you the best audio quality Ever, and I just think this is actually just worth it and a really good bundle. I wish this camera was out when I first started because I had to buy two separate camera to do literally the job that this camera can do both off with ease. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I use thanks to Best Buy again for partnering with me on this video and gifting me this camera. I'm so excited to just start using this and continue it on my journey as a content creator and I'm excited for also for you guys to enjoy the new quality and the new content. So yeah, let's jump right into this week's vlog. Getting ready for the airport because I like to do that and it makes me feel good. So let's do getting ready with me. I've already done my sunscreen, moisturizer, and my brows only because those are just like very tedious and do you guys really care? I think I heard it now. <laughs> um, we're gonna use my NARS foundation now. NARS is just my favorite foundation for a skin-like finish. I think it looks beautiful on the skin. But I am gonna use my NARS color correcting concealer beforehand just to cover up any dark circles, dark marks that I would like to cover. And this is just gonna cover those imperfections so I can use less foundation, you know?
Going in with my number 70 brush from Sephora. This is, um, I kind of feel like I need more foundation. I always try to go with this minimal vibe thing and it just always, okay, I'm just gonna put a half a pump. So we're gonna use one and a half pumps of foundation. Yeah, I'm always trying to do this minimal thing and it just never works out. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use a half a pump extra and I'm just gonna blend this in. But I was saying that I'm using the number 70 brush for my foundation. Um, yesterday I went to Sephora to, to try out the new Lady Gaga foundation and this is what she used to apply it. And as she was applying my makeup, I was like, wow, that's actually a really good brush. Um, it's a number 70. I actually bought it. But then I came home and I already had one in my collection that was untouched because I never really used it. But now I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation Concealer. I'm sorry, it's early. I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes. I'm not gonna use a lot. I really intended for this to be a very simple makeup look, like an everyday makeup look, and it's turn it into an actual beat. So yeah, while I do my makeup, let's chat. Um, I remember there was a little online debate not too long ago about how women should dress for the airport and whether like wearing a bonnet on the plane and stuff like that is acceptable. I'm gonna flat out tell you right now, I do not think it's acceptable at all. I think when you go to the, to the airport, you should look your absolute best. Number one, you never know who you're going to run into. And this is not even about to go and graft and meet men or anything of that nature. It's just like, you never know who you're gonna run into. Like literally, you never know. And I feel like in circumstances like that, you should always look your best. And also for me, when I go to the airport, I, I struggle a lot. Like I, I just feel like, putting my bag in the overhead bin, all that in salt my day. I just struggle and I hate doing it, I hate it. So when I dress up and I look good, I feel like people will just help me out more. When you look good, you just you feel good. And when you feel good, I just feel like the energy that you give off, like good things just happen to you more. So I would say my bummy airport outfit will be like a matching like Lululemon set or something. And then my like my very dressy outfits will be like a dress pants look and a nice shirt um, is what I would wear to like just look my absolute best I think. Today I'm wearing a dress pants and a really nice sweater um, only because I don't want to wear my Lululemon set again. Guys, I feel like my face looks very dark right now which is kind of weird. I think because um, my skin tone is lightening a little bit due to um, the temperature changing Anyways, it's gonna drink my hot water with apple cider vinegar and lemon. Eyes, I'm using my YSL mascara. This is the best mascara on this planet right this second. I'm obsessed with this mascara. I'll leave that setting powder there for a little bit. I feel like the makeup forever, I'm sorry, the Too Faced concealer creases a little bit never noticed that before but I also don't have another option so I'm just gonna leave that there I wonder why the camera does that like it see how it was like to the side anyways time to get dressed I'm thinking of wearing let me get it I'm thinking of wearing all white 